Frankly speaking, last night was more than dramatic, and all the things that happened last night is what I am going to be unpacking in this eight to nine minutes video. So, if you do not really want to miss out from any of the events that happened last night, do well to watch till the end of this particular video. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Click on the notification bell button. Do not forget to like and share my video. Immediately after the Sunday live eviction, this has me waited for the 24 hours timer to elapse because it was just remaining few minutes for it to elapse. Immediately it elapsed, Big Brother turned on the big screen on the lounge. And guys, if you see the way all these housemates ran to where that big screen was, just to find out what Big Brother has up his sleeves. So what Big Brother was showing them actually was how they entered into his house. And some of the things they did on stage the day they were introduced into the house as spare. Guys, after showing them some of the things they did on stage the day they were introduced into Big Brother Niger house, the doorbell rang and two ninjas came in with a big chest that contained capes that they instructed the housemate to put on. <laughs> Guys, when this housemate started putting on those capes, if you see the kind of sound that Big Brother and his production were playing, it was just giving occultic sound. Then, after they finished putting it on, Big Brother instructed them to go into the arena. Inside the arena was something else. It was as though I was watching an occultic movie where members or where new members are initiated into occultic fraternity. Going into that arena, some of these housemates were very, very scared because of the setting that Big Brother gave the arena. Everything was just looking like occultic initiation event. So when they all went in and sat down, just take a pretty look at the first thing Big Brother told them in the arena. The pairs are hereby dissolved, and your fate is now squarely in your hands. You will no longer be a passenger on someone else's ride. You will no longer be allowed to live in another person's shadow. Big Brother told them that the pair are hereby dissolved, that they are no longer allowed to live under someone else's shadow. They are now playing their game squarely on their own. Well, ladies and gentlemen, just take a pretty look at how Big Brother separated them. Like, the whole thing did not just end by Big Brother telling them that the pair have been dissolved. Just take a pretty look at the re- ritual that big brother did for this housemate in fact it was handy and wanis own that was more dramatic wani and handy added their own style to the separation ritual guys no be smart you know like wani and handy even made it look more dramatic and more occultic while big brother provided frying native pot with something that looked like a burning coal under it and he asked this housemate to stand side by side of it and put the tag that contained their pain name into it. That was how all the remaining pairs went to stand side by side of it and put their name tag inside the frying native pot. So that was that for the separation ritual that happened last night. Then after the whole process, when this housemate returned back into the house, they discovered that the brother have added another housemate which is parrot guys like when they saw this parrot they were all shocked and surprised guys when this housemate saw this parrot that was introduced into the house they were all shocked if you see the way they were just observing and looking at it in fact so it said that the parrot should also mention name that it shouldn't say only what someone say that it should make sure that it mentioned the person that say it so that they will know who to fight and if you see the way um, Ben was just observing it watching if it has been plugged and he was just like no the parrot have not been plugged no it has not started working I'm just like if you like go and just be talking anyhow this parrot will expose you thank god that big brother have finally introduced parrot then after the whole um, separation ritual and everything we now saw cassia 
Kelly Ray, Sean, Wani, and Suj and Nelly on the dining, having a conversation. During this conversation, Wani asked Kelly Ray that between him and Cassia, who would he want to win the show if they are two make it to the final? And Kelly Ray said, if they are two make it to the final, that he would want himself to be the winner of the show because if he wins the show, his money is Cassia money. But if Cassia wins the show, Cassia money is her money. In fact, Cassia might end up sending him one million. Then after that, she will not want to give him another money. So if there are two, finally or eventually make it to the final that he would want himself to be the winner of the show. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you all think? This is Kelly Ray telling all of you guys what to do. I know after this unpairing, some of you guys are confused on who to support or who to start rooting for. Now, Kelly Ray said that you all should make sure that he is the winner of the show because if he eventually win, his money is their money. But if the wife win, her money is her money. Guys, you all, the boy is now left in your court to decide on what to do. While they were having that conversation, Cassia and Kilire were on that dining, eating. I don't know how Ben just came out from nowhere and started asking them, why are you guys eating together? Why are you people eating together? Should be big brother, don't separate us now. Should be big brother have dissolved the pair that he is not free to do whatsoever he wants to do with Cassia. And they shouldn't be eating together again because Big Brother have finally separated them. That, in fact, he is going to kiss Cassia. Kelly was just like, go ahead and kiss her now. Wait to concern me. Wait to... <laughs> the whole thing was just so very, very funny. And uh, what's his name? Ben was holding and hugging Cassia. Cassia was just like, uh-uh. Uh -uh. In fact, the way he immediately left Cassia and Kelly was telling Cassia, go and kiss him now, go and kiss him, make they see whether fight no good boss that Cassia did not have anything to lose, that he is the one that have something to lose. And Kelly was telling him that if he eventually kiss um, Cassia, that he is the one that is going to be calling all of them to settle for him and Chizoba. Guys, Kelly was just insisting that Cassia should go and kiss him. When Cassia was holding Ben for them to do the kissing now, Ben was the one that was running. Ben was now begging her to go and sit down that he does not want to kiss. In fact, Chizoba came from nowhere to find out what was going on. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just like, now wow, this couple, we thought that Ebuka have scattered their game. We thought that Ebuka have exposed them and scattered their game. But these people said we should hold their beer. They are not yet done that they are still going to do and undo in that house. They did truth or dear game in the house. Detail of that one I am going to be telling all of you guys in our next video that I am going to be uploading shortly. This is where I'll be ending this one. Go ahead, let me know your thoughts. Subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification bell button. Do not forget to share and like my video. In fact, share my videos with your friends and loved ones that like Big Brother Gist. If you are still watching up to this point, you are the MVP.